Toronto, if there's a transition for Austin Matthews to make in his second season in the National Hockey League from his rookie campaign, Taylor Hall has a good idea of what lies ahead for the Maple Leafs' best player. We're not going to put Hall, chosen first overall by the Edmonton Oilers in 2010, on the same plane as Matthews, picked first by the Leafs in 2016. But Hall, embarking on his second year with the New Jersey Devils after six years of futility in Edmonton, can relate. Yet, when the subject is Matthews, Hall sees no reason for Leafs Nation to fret. Playing against harder matchups, being able to digest the first and second line matchups, playing against the top defensemen every night, that is something you have to get used to and that you almost embrace after a while, Hall said on Tuesday after the Devils practiced at the MasterCard Center. Matthews is such a good player and he is so big and strong, that's not really going to be a factor for him. We're going to have our hands full with him and we have to make sure we play well against him. When the Leafs and Devils meet on Wednesday night at the Air Canada Centre, Toronto will attempt to start a season with a 40 record for the first time since 2010. New Jersey, rejuvenated by youngsters Jesper Bratt, Nico Hischer and Will Butcher, will be looking to win their third straight game to start the 201,718 regular season. Leafs defenseman Connor Carrick is going to miss a second consecutive game with an upper body issue, so Leafs coach Mike Babcock will get another look at the rookie defense pair of Andreas Borgman and Kaya Rosen. The two were sound defensively Monday during an overtime win over the Chicago Blackhawks, and one has to wonder if Babcock will be quick to break them up once Carrick gets the green light to return. Babcock will stick with his rotation of centers on the fourth line, meaning Dominic Moore will return to the lineup after Eric Fair played against the Blackhawks. Matthews and linemates Zach Hyman and William Nylander will attempt to replicate, if not build off, what they did Monday. Those matchups Hall was discussing, especially the top defense pair, did not provide stiff competition for the Matthews trio. Matthews and pals dominated Duncan Keith and Brent Seabrook, controlling the puck on every even strength shift. Patrick Kane accomplished nothing against the Matthews line. Hyman said there was a great confidence lift for the three with a performance against such a knowledgeable Hawks defense pair that is laden with Stanley Cup rings, but realized it wouldn't matter a heck of a lot if there is not the same kind of dominance against the Devils. It's on Babcock to ensure the Matthews line, and the Leafs as a whole, don't view the Devils differently because they're ISNT the same kind of experience in the New Jersey lineup. If we're being honest here, though, can we remember a time when Matthews might have not given an opponent his complete attention it does not appear to be in the 20-year-old's mental makeup to do anything but put everything into every shift. It can be a trap game because you think New Jersey HASNT been as good, Babcock said. But they are flying. Their forwards create speed, they are playing a tight game, they are doing a good job in the neutral zone and defensive zone, it's one of those games you have to be prepared and they think they are good. They are no different than us. We think we are good too. We will find out. Actually, the Leafs are quite a bit different than the Devils, different than a whole lot of teams. Starting with Matthews. That's a new one. Austin Matthews has been called lots of things. But greasy in a sense, that's the word New Jersey Devils goaltender Corey Schneider used to partially describe the Maple Leafs' center. What I saw from him last year was mostly in and around the net, Schneider said of Matthews' 40 goals as a rookie. It was greasier goals, poking pucks in, getting rebounds, jamming away. How about the shot Matthews used to score in overtime against Chicago on Monday, ripping a shot to the top right corner of the net on Blackhawks goalie Anton Forsberg? You know about his release, Schneider said. I haven't seen it too many times yet, but he can score in a variety of different ways. That's what makes him a dangerous goal scorer. He's not just reliant on his shot. He can get to the net and score some gritty goals, Kashan at postmedia.com.